Good morning, folks. It's going to be a planetary news day. Well, that includes a ton here on our world. It also includes planets in our solar system and one very far away. Let's get started with our star, however, at spaceweathernews.com, and we're finding the last 24 hours about as quiet as you get. No sunspots. No solar flares. Still waiting for an intensified solar wind stream as well. In 304 angstroms, we can see some angry filament activity as large amounts of plasma fountain northward towards the polar region. Coronal hole views here in 211 angstroms. While we are enduring very calm solar wind, it is likely that one aspect of this system is going to be geoeffective. The wait continues. Let's go to the satellites pointed back this way, taking a quick look at the lightning illuminating the convergence line in the eastern United States. The big story over here, however, is Hurricane Fabio, expected to reach major hurricane status soon, and with amazing lightning circling the system. Now, when we slow down a bit, we can see that there was indeed eye wall lightning involved as well, followed by a bright one that may have been a terrestrial gamma flash, one of the best shots GO-16 has ever delivered. Now let's go to the USGS video at Kilauea where a whirlwind can be seen spinning the lava and tiny embers around. This might be their best shot of the volcano yet. We'll take just another moment to see this vortex action coming right from the mouth of the monster. Now let's go from hot to cold where both polar regions are now showing their lagged effect of the major oscillations as the north and south have both blown past last year's marks for ice extent which were exceptionally low, and are creeping back towards normal now. How about some of the other planets? Ceres in the asteroid belt with the Ocator Crater's best expose here from dawn, both surface and plateau top brightness there, not exactly sharing the same mechanism in all likelihood. Let's go way, way out there to where the ESO's sphere device put an opaque block on a star in our galaxy took away all its perceived saturation brightness, leaving us to see the dusty disk around it and bright planet being born now. They have some fun animations of what they think the planet is going to look like, but truly, to block out starlight that far away and still see its immediate surroundings is quite exceptional. Let's come back for one more in our neighborhood, Uranus. They say a collision like this with a planet twice the size of Earth is what tilted it on its side. Perhaps the best part of their hypothesis is that it was not a single event, just as Uranus appears to be regaining stability. Hello, nice to see you again. Probably was wearing out his welcome at this point from Uranus' perspective. Folks, if you missed it yesterday, we announced Dr. Brian Tinsley as our featured speaker at Observing the Frontier 2019. He is one of the visionaries in the realm of solar climate forcing, electric weather, and the global electric circuit. We are very lucky. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. We greatly appreciate your support, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 5.25 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.